After arriving at the Galgalunt National Park, I did a few walks like a spider weaving a web. I'm on the start of day four of my Gurkham week. I've come from just over the woods there, down from the camp. It's a really glorious morning, the first really nice one I've had here. It's not been too hot or too cold. And we're heading up this ridge here. It's over that peak. Onto the lump behind it. See what See what happens then. Just see the camp nestled down there by the river. There's the camp and my girl is the third one from the extreme left. Today, looking back towards the main road, comes out of UP, stack heaps. That's the peak I was on earlier, a little bit lower, and down these ridges. to just choose your route and go there. This is at the top and it's some sort of trick point. I've come a bit further along the ridge now. There's the lake we can see out by the trick point. Another one and a half k's to go to get back to the camp that you can just see behind that ridge. Done over 10k by the time I get back. Well, I've just waded across that from the camp and it took about four goes to find somewhere to get across. There's more flow than it looks when you get deep. I'm going off to try and find the deer stone. See the camp there in the distance. As I came around that point, I thought I could see someone standing, but they weren't moving. When I got closer, there it was the deer stone. Several thousand years old. Some of the locals from their girls. Let's check. 
Tuesday now and I'm off for my morning walk just heading to the mountain to the north. contoured around the side of that hill. At the top now looking back towards the camp. The peak there is the one I was filming from just a moment ago. Spitting with rain a bit now. I think I'll sit down and have a pipe. Well, it's the beginning of day six now. Rain in the night, it's a bit cloudy and humid now, lots of biting insects. But I just came around here because yesterday I noticed this side of the river there were some trees. Not a common sight in Mongolia. Mothers here seem to have a 24 hour rotating shift. They don't go away during the day. It's the 29th today, my penultimate day. Another hot morning. I'm here enough to go up the hill behind me. When I came across this, I think it's some sort of I said there's Stone Age ruins or Bronze Age ruins around. I'm heading up there, going up the side, along the top of that ridge, and trying to find the peak, which I think is that one in the background. forges onto that peak in the long ridge onto the top there and that's where my last bit of filming was done I just followed up the ridge Unless you're looking north along the river. I'm going to go down that ridge there, follow it along back down onto the plains. Looking back at the high point. Still a way to go to get back to the camp. That's Mount Bates, and that was my intended destination for today, my last day. The Nice cold day and it would have been ideal for getting up there. But unfortunately the ground between here and there is a bog and I can't find a way through. Getting closer back towards the camp now. Because oh. I couldn't get across the swamp I came back up this ridge. And over that peak there. Down and across the whole valley and up to here. And this is me and my girl. Well, I spent the last week um, 
living. Two beds, the one that side I sleep in. And another one here, just used for putting things on. It's a, I've got a stove here, but uh, of course I haven't needed it. Today's the first cool day really. You still don't need a stove. And it's all very nicely decorated. All these carvings and all of the slats, whatever they're called, all done nicely. Little desk thing here. I've got my bits and pieces, my e-reader, all the electronics, water bottle. It's uh, been a fairly meagre existence, really, but. Uh, Quite nice in a funny sort of way, but I'll go tomorrow. I can't say I'll really be sorry. And this is looking towards the door. Out there's the camp. Nice bench that I sit on and watch the moon rise and listen to music. And there's the main building. Showers, toilets and food. Food in and out, in other words. Other gears, you know, bats to the south. That one's mine, number 19. And the river's just off over there. Well, this is the crossing point of the river. I've waded across several times. You know, Cooks seems to be the only place you can actually wade. It uh, gets too deep elsewhere. This is a little shelter you could go and sit and read in when the sun was too hot. And that's looking downstream. I'll just take my final walk here down there a little way this afternoon. 